We are just getting some new information from our Tom Winter, uh, a spokesperson for the FBI's Pittsburgh field office, Carmen, says they are now confirming the name of the shooter, the alleged shooter who attempted to assassinate former President Donald Trump. They identify him as Thomas Matthew Crooks, Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Our reporting had him at 20 years old. Thomas Crooks. We are just getting some new information from our Tom Winter, uh, a spokesperson for the FBI's Pittsburgh field office, Carmen, says they are now confirming the name of the shooter, the alleged shooter who attempted to assassinate former President Donald Trump. They identify him as Thomas Matthew Crooks, Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Our reporting had him at 20 years old. Look, I'm bringing Trump here. They're bringing Trump. You dirty mother. There goes Trump. There goes Trump. There goes Trump. There goes Trump. Do you hear me? The one cop car, the window was blown out. Do them mother. Trump. Trump. Coming to Butler Hospital. Trump. I'm in the Butler Hospital. Look, they're bringing Trump here. They're bringing Trump. You dirty mother. There goes Trump. There goes Trump. There goes Trump. Do you hear me? Huh. The one cop car, the window was blown out. Do them mother... Trump! Trump! Come into Butler Hospital! Trump! Come into Butler Hospital!
Uh, someone who was here. You weren't inside the event, nope. but you were just outside. Tell us what you yes. saw and what. So, so we had a party here all day. Too, uh, you can see behind us at the, the Brinkles Farming Greenhouse here. We had a party. Um, and we all decided, hey, you know, when, when we hear Trump up there, we're going to walk up through the field, stand by the trees up there under the shade, yeah. and watch the, and listen to the rally. Right? We couldn't see him, but we could hear him. So we walked up. And probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea, you know. But um, we noticed the guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. The rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle, absolutely. Um, we're pointing at them. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two or three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're more certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? hundred percent, hundred percent. And he, he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely, at least three to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police from the Secret Service? We were telling the police, we were pointing at him for the Secret Service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see Binoculars. Him? Could they see him? Probably not, because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But, but why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Did you see, I mean, obviously everyone, when the shooting started, everyone was very panicked. Did, oh, you, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh yeah, they blew his head off. Okay, sorry. Secret Service just, blew his head off. Okay, just be careful because we don't even quite know who's watching, but you, you're pretty sure they, they, they shot the guy. Absolutely, 100%. Okay. Okay. Yep. You, you saw that happen? Yep, yep. Okay. Yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards or? They, yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead and that was it. It was over. That's incredibly shocking. The guy was on the roof right there. You can see the white roof. Right there. Did you get a look at him? Could you? I, I no. Other than he was in muted colors, tan type clothing. I, we saw the rifle flinging around as he was trying to crawl. I mean, we saw the rifle, hundred percent. I mean, do you know about guns? Do you know what kind of weapon it was? Oh, I absolutely know about guns for sure. Do no, you know I mean, it was? it was a rifle of some sort. I wouldn't know. You know, I wasn't close enough to read the label on it. No, but, sure. but it, was, it right? was a rifle of some sort. Yeah, absolutely. So. <laughs> What do you, how do you process what you've just seen? <sighs> I, I don't know what to say, man. All I'll tell you is, you know, if I, if I walked up close to there with anything that can, Secret Service considered a, a, a problem, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. But I don't know why a guy who we're standing there pointing out to police and Secret Service is crawling up the roof. Are you outside the security Yes, right there by that tree. We were outside the security department. But my question is, there's only a few buildings around here. Why is Secret Service not on every building here? Well, there's a whole bunch of questions, I think, that are going to come. There's a whole so, bunch of questions. Yeah. yeah. Yes, she was right in front of me. She kept going back and forth right in front of me. Yes. Tell us about her. I mean, nice horse, nice lady running with a flag. She seemed very, you know. Patriotic, but what, what's what's the significance of that? No, she just he asked me if I saw a horse. Okay, okay. All right. Well, listen. I'm sorry you had to witness that. That was a terrible thing, and uh, you should stay safe with your family and uh, gotcha. Your stuff. Um, thanks for your gotcha, time. Man. Tell me what you saw. Okay, I was in the first row, right in front of President Trump. I heard first boom, boom. I heard four boom, boom, booms. Immediately thought fireworks. Somebody's still putting off yeah. fireworks. Yeah. Then the Secret Service jumped onto him, pushed him to the ground. What did he look like when you saw him, when he got up? So I'm just telling you now, I pushed him to the ground. That's what we saw. And not one of us in the front row 
either hid down or anything. We all stood up strong to make sure we wanted to protect him too. We wouldn't move till Trump got up. What did you see from him? So then the guys with the guns came, they clear right, clear left. Or they said, lift them. So they lifted him straight up. Trump said, I gotta get my shoes on. So he wasn't, he was, he looked okay to me, but I saw a little bit of blood right here. On the side of his face? In the right cheek. It was like a teardrop almost. But then when he turned to the right, I could see the blood from the top of the ear to the bottom. It was not gushing, Just a but bit. it was it was all the way down. You're doing okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You weren't hurt? I, no, I thought something right. happened. But in my mind, I thought when they pushed him, he hit himself on something. Yeah. You know, almost like a burn, like brush burn or whatever, you know, something. And then he put his hand up real big, like strong, and they walked him down.